I could be completely wrong, but I have a feeling that every time I decide I want to do this and then I end up actually having so many more hurdles and then I don't get around doing it. And I'm not quite sure why I invite that kind of a circumstance. Like I feel like I never get to start my authentic journey at all. Well, to start off with the very fact that you're uh, looking at it the way you are points towards your sense of accountability. So you, you are aware of the fact that there are high chances that you're playing some form of role in these circumstances. And that means you're actually on the right track, in my opinion. My guess is you're at a stage in your career where you're starting to feel this correlation between what you can do actively and uh, what you can't control yeah. and yeah. striking that balance the from... balance is the biggest key what i think like it's either too much of it or nothing of it well there's two poles here there is a certain type uh, of uh, artist who um, always blame it on circumstance and one way or the other uh, you will come in contact with artists who tend to embody that archetype either to your own actions or to people you run into. And then there's the other pole who always take on way too much than they can actually handle and end up creating situations which they're not really equipped to deal with. Um, both are two sides of the same coin. In uh, most cases, we end up oscillating between one to the other. The good news is you're not alone on this. This is part of your job. Okay. The bad news is it's part of your job. Not a job. <laughs> But that being said, like most jobs, uh, there is a modus operandi that can be followed in order to make things optimal. And optimal is always relative. Optimal uh, tend to be sold as a utopic idea. It's not. There is no one scenario where everything just completely falls into place and everything is hunky-dory. Even if it were, it would not be. Because the whole idea at the end of the day is to get better at what we're doing. And the only way we can do that is to learn to deal with obstacles to the best of our abilities. Contrary to what we often are taught to think, the authentic artist is not the one who gets the job done perfectly. It's the one who gets better at dealing with obstacles every single time. So satisfaction and happiness are not necessarily the same thing for same an artist. Thing. You can be happy being dissatisfied. That's all right. 